Okay, satu, dua, tiga Action! What is up guys, Fahan here with Za once again And today we have Shabir, how are you man? Hi. Welcome nice to, to the you. show, finally In the assistance of your brother, which is over there You <laughs> uh, pester him, how many times he pester you? Buddy? A lot, a lot of times <laughs> almost, almost every day Almost every day <laughs> And just want to tell you guys that they're actually our, one of our Loyal fans Loyal fans, yeah. are really thankful for the support Thank you, thank you yeah. And so this is Shabir's bike the BMW S1000 XR. Yes. Wow, and I have to say that looking at this bike is like, wow, no yeah. the ultimate adventure bikes. Huh? I'm really mesmerized by this bike, you know, actually. Mm. That time I, we went to the BMW showroom, you know, I saw this bike, I was like, wow, this bike is beautiful, man. It's not as bulky and beefy as the GS, mm. but it offers the same kind of styling and muscle, you know, that we mm. want in an adventure sport. Adventure tourer. It's actually a uh, S1K, you know? Mm. Yeah, only mm. they make it into a sport tourer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so before, Shabira tell us the story about his uh, BMW SR, BMW XR. Yeah, the, uh, is it? S1000 XS. S1000 XR. <laughs> it's really a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give a bit of background about it. Manufactured since 2015, the BMW S1000 XR is a sports storing motorcycle based on the S1000R. BMW described it to be an all-rounder adventure sports bike, built for the long-distance road trips. In 2014, BMW made numerous improvements to the S1000 XR, including updating the engine to be Euro 4 compliant, added 5 more horsepower, and reduced vibrations on the handlebars. Engine is a 999cc liquid cool inline 4 cylinder 4 stroke 4 valve UHC with electronic injection throttle valve and a 6 speed constant mesh manual transmission. In Singapore, the BMW S1000 XR is surprisingly a popular bike on the streets. Alright, guys, so shout out to our sponsor, DP Moly. Do check out their online store for awesome motorbike care related products. Support us by clicking on the link below to view the range of products or use our promo code upon checking out. Hey you! Huh? Yes, you! Looking to finance your dream bike but you cannot afford a brand new one and the only other option is a used bike? Look no further! Extol Global provides your motorcycle financing needs including higher purchase plans for buying your bike that's used for an internet, COE renewals, refinancing for bikes under COI that your friend wanna let go. Best of all, you can apply online, fast free, and Extol's friendly credit executive will work out a plan to finance your dream bike. Extol Global's goal is to create a cheaper, easier, and transparent platform for people to buy their bikes. What are you waiting for? Refinance your dream bike with Extol Global. Right guys, so before we actually start off the review, I want to thank 18 Moto for sponsoring the venue. They've been an awesome spot to us, opening up to us for this place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can refinance your bike, buy your bike, service your bike here. Uh, Shabir, so why? Yes. You bought the S1000XR. Ever since I passed my class 2, I've been looking at 1000cc bikes. So the little bikes then, uh, out of all the options that uh, was available, which is a lot. Lah. And uh, out of all of them, I chose the XR because firstly, it looks very nice to me. Especially the curves and angles on this bike, as well as the sound of the stop exhaust. Yeah. Stop ah guys, yeah. stop ah. <laughs> no need Accra, no need SC project. Yeah. <laughs> Just stop exhaust. <laughs> yeah, so that time when you bought it, uh, how much was it? I bought it last year. This bike is a 2015 model, but 2016 registered. So mm-hmm. uh, it cost 25k. 25k at that yeah. time, wow. Yes. Yeah. Now the NC750 already 25k. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, now. No. <laughs> What bike were you riding before this? Uh, so, I've ridden a few bikes uh, uh-huh. back in the past. In Malaysia, I rode Yamaha Sport 100, then next the Honda EX5, and then in Singapore, I actually got my license from my national service. So, in my training, I rode the AG200 as well as the Honda VFR 800P. Just give background, uh, can we tell? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's an MP outrider. Lah. So, uh, in my <laughs> national service, <laughs> yeah, my national service, I was a uh, military police outrider. Lah. Mm. Pepe, no, later yeah. the fight tanah, he's someone never see that. What did he do? I can't have before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no. Okay, uh, so after that, after I gotten my 2B from my national service, I got a Kawasaki KRR. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I changed that bike because the motorcycle. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I changed it to Aerox. From my Aerox, I tahan until my class 2. Then I got this bike. Yeah. Mm, so, the huge jump from Aerox to the yes. uh, 1000XR, yeah. how was it? Been? I mean, uh, for me, I've been always uh, waiting to get my class 2 ever since my national service. And uh, this bike is really, the first day is really, I felt very happy uh, collecting this bike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this your actual dream bike or do you yes. have some other bikes in mind? Yeah, uh, actually, over the years, I mean, everybody changes their dream bikes mm. over time. Like, like me, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, if, uh, at a point of time when I passed my license, this was the bike that I've always wanted. And yeah, that's why I found this good condition bike and that's why I, I bought this bike. So how many more years left? Five, 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 years. Five, years. Five, years. five more years, yes. Yeah. So yeah. do you know the history about this bike? What were the previous owner doing with it? You managed to go to Thailand or what? Uh, for the history of this bike, uh, I don't think I n know anything about that. Uh. Yeah, the previous, because I bought it from the shop mm -hmm. and the shop only told me that the previous owner only took good care of this bike. Uh. What was the mileage when you took over this bike? The mileage was around 59k. Uh, okay, which, which is okay, la, I think. For Must this. have been to Thailand. Yeah, I think. Oh, for Thailand. Must have No Thai, la, he did, no Thai la, since <laughs> Yeah, uh, every, almost every Everlander uh, out there, uh, in Singapore especially, uh, uh, they must have that Thailand souvenir uh, Thailand license plate, you know, just yeah. to stick on their windshield. Uh, Olen, Olen, Tony Pragi Thailand. This one humble, la, still humble. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, after the borders are open and we can travel freely, I'm sure yes. you want to bring this yeah, over, definitely, right? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I cannot wait, man. <laughs> so, like uh, you mentioned your MP Outrider, right? You yes. got the VFR 800, you yes. got the Triumph Tiger, is it? Uh, the Triumph Tiger was actually my next batch, so I didn't oh, exactly yeah, get to ride. Yeah. So, if you want to share how you compare, you know, the uh, performance and, uh, and the handling of both bikes between this. Uh. Okay, uh, for the VFR, I think Firstly, because of the blinkers and all the, the sirens, that's why I think it's very heavy. And also on top of that, it's a very old bike, 20 year old bike. But it was enough, lah, enough to fulfill its duties. As so for this bike, uh, performance wise, uh, I think it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, the <laughs> cornering is awesome. I can go as low as I want. Low as you want? Huh? Yes, <laughs> because Even of the, the high wheel yeah. base. Huh? Yes, yes. Mm. And also the height of the bike itself. And uh, for Top speed wise, uh, I didn't get to try because in Singapore the speed limit is only 90. Mm -hmm. So my top speed is only 90. Yeah, yeah oh, top speed is 90, yeah. Remember that, yeah. 90, yeah. <laughs> win win. <laughs> but what you reckon the pickup is? The pickup is superb, man. I, I really love the top. I really love the handling of the bike because of its wide handlebars. Your bike, we can see there's a few accessories on it, lah. Like, yes. The crash guard. And is this stock? Oh, Hepco and Becker. Oh, Hepco and Becker. Oh. And Buckbuster handguard. Hand then what's this actually? Yeah? Uh, this is a device where uh, you can place your phone and it's a wireless charger. Lah. Most ah. BMW bikes, if they have the navigator system, you can just buy this from like Amazon for like $20, $30. And you so can does just... yours have the navigation from BMW? Uh, no, that oh. costs like 1K. So this one you for brand new. <laughs> 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 hey, yes. Okay. I'm not getting man. That's why I didn't get it. Lah. So this one ah. you put your phone instead. Lah. Yeah, I can wireless charge, so I think it's better. So. Right, and then your side panel is a soft one, lah. So uh, yes. Wow. Yeah, I, I really love this look of these side panels, you know. They are not as bulky as the box one, mm. right? But at, at the same time it's stylish, you know. Okay, and then the box also? So this box is uh, 65 liters, it can fit two helmets nicely. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. why I just chose it. How big is the, the side panniers? Uh, I think it's about 15 liter, 20 liter. I'm mm. not too sure. Uh, it's also from Hepco and Becker. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I okay la, can put in coat. Would, good enough. Huh? Would lane splitting be an issue with all of this on? Uh, I mean, it depends. Lane splitting also depends on the rider skills as mm. well as as long as your accessories doesn't uh, exceed the handlebar, then I think it's fine. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, so what are the accessories you have here? Uh, we the have fog the, light also? Yeah, the fog light, I, when I bought the bike, it's already there. It's from Wonderlic. Most BMW accessories also come from there. So maybe uh, you guys okay. can check it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> so basically, other than that, mostly it's cosmetic. Lah, eh? Yes. Uh, nothing internal, nothing, nothing, I think, nothing I, too fancy. I lah. think you, you don't have to modify the internal parts, you know. It's an S1000 engine, XR, you know. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> it's mostly cosmetic lah to look uh. to make it look like adventure lah. Mm. <laughs> but I have to admire yeah. the seat yeah. ah. Original. Uh, the seat is not original. Oh okay. Uh, Macam like yeah. Macam sport seat ada. Uh, I <laughs> bucket seat ah. Uh, uh, the seat is traditionally bucket lah. Oh, it's okay. low low riding seat. Mm. And uh, I changed the original cover because my kapak the cat like to sit <laughs> okay. then this one cat cat scratch resistant ah yeah then oh, but, but this one no lah it's not scratch resistant oh. I, I, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll pay good handsome money for a scratch resistant but this one the cat like to this one i see yeah, like the cat will confirm want to sleep on it uh, so yeah <laughs> i always after rain ah because i uh, cover my bike because mm-hmm. my okay. kapak is an open kapak. Oh, yeah, okay. Then I always, sometimes when I open the cover, I can see the black and white cat over there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking so, of seat, uh, what's your height? Uh, my height is 1.8 meters. 1.8, yeah. wow, you're very 1.8? Eh, hey, tinggi, sure. Very tall, you see how tall he is right enough, now? Enough, enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, riding posture-wise, how is it? Uh, it's a very normal riding normal posture. posture. Yeah, it's not too aggressive. Do not, to relax. Do you reckon that vertically challenged riders can ride this? Uh, can ride this one? I think definitely still can. Uh, yeah, the six five. Yeah. Uh, I mount on it. Uh. Can can. No worries. Yeah. Tinggi to... sih. <laughs> Tinggi sih. <siya. laughs> can lah. Tito can. Okay, later can. off camera, Zha is going to try lah. <laughs> but I have to say, it's a very tall bike for me. Yeah. Uh, but I think can go lower if you want to lah. I I believe can lah. Yeah. So much talking about the aesthetic aspect of this bike. How about the fuel consumption? Like how big is the fuel tank and how far can you actually go on fuel tank? I think for performance bikes, uh, you cannot expect much for the mileage. For this bike, the fuel tank is 20 liters. For full tank, I run around at least uh, around 250 km or lesser. Depends on whether you work or not lah. Not very. Bad. Mm-hmm. Economically, yes. <laughs> not very environmentally friendly. It's a, it is a BMW, after all. Yeah, la, of course. La. I mean, it's a, it's a racing engine. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of racing, uh, this one has the riding modes, is it? Yes, uh, it has four riding modes. Rain, and then road, dynamic and dynamic pro. So you can, you can really feel the differences between the modes, lah. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. But for Dynamic Pro, I don't touch it as much because, because I you can I'm, fly. I ride <laughs> online. You gear one, you whack, you can really yeah. So oh. <laughs> I don't want to touch that that mode yet. Not yet. Yeah. So the ABS can be turned off. Uh, yes. Okay, what is this, by the way? On off. Uh, this is the cruise control. So oh, this cruise okay. control also. So yeah. I think uh, you can hand free, yeah. Uh, on <laughs> overseas road, can <okay>. Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool, you know, if the the uh, handlebars have uh, heated grips, you know. Yeah, there is. Oh, there, there is. is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's European, bro. Oh, yeah lah. European, sir. Yeah. So can adjust the suspension because the suspension is dynamic oh, ESA suspension okay. as well. Meaning it can lower itself. Uh, depend on whether you have a pillion, you have a uh, luggage. Eh? Oh. Luggage, oh, wow. yes. Oh, so surprising, yeah. So mm. you can adjust. Yeah. But being a 2015 bike, you can see mm. the, the the bike has aged for quite some time, yes, yes. The the gauge cluster is the LCD. And mm-hmm. aesthetic wise, it, it's somewhat dated lah. I can already see, mm. uh, and I'm surprised they still use a key. <laughs> I mean, honestly, for me, I mm. f- coming from an Aerox using the transponder, mm. I really didn't like it lah. I prefer <laughs> I prefer key. key, and I prefer seeing the dials move. Ah, <laughs> so you don't like the LCD? You don't, yeah, you don't, don't like the what? Uh, the TFT display. The TFT yeah. display lah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Shabir, how's the maintenance like for you for the S1000 XR? Right? Given that it's a BMW. Uh. <laughs> and so, given that something happened to it recently, eh? yeah. you can share mm-hmm. about that also. Okay, uh, so for maintenance wise, usually it's uh, 10,000 km, I'll mm-hmm. do the normal servicing. And uh, every 20, 30 k, I'll do the full complete servicing, checking mm. all the valves, checking all the, uh, the timing chain, the piston and all this, the clutch, okay. the brake systems. And uh, recently I had a major servicing done for my timing chain because it's a known issue for the S1000 engine for the rattling noise. Mm. Uh, so I had to change uh, the whole timing change as well as the cams and all that. How much is the damage? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
very hard pain. Uh, I mean, for European bike, I cannot expect much. Uh, the damage was around 2k plus. Uh, oh, uh, so open up the engine and change the... And change the timing chain, as well as gasket and checking everything complete. Lah. Oh, yeah, okay, that's why, okay. Yeah. Where you go to, to do the bike? Uh, I went to Trax Motorsport. Oh. Okay, my, my one whole month salary finish on <laughs> repairs. So, uh, for yourself, where you usually go to do your bike? Uh, previously, uh, I went to W Sega. There was a shop, but it closed down. So uh, now I think I'll just stick to tracks. I love uh, the guys, the mechanics service. Yeah, shout out to David. tracks guys. Yeah. Huh? Uh, wait, wait, what's the address? W Sega. Shout out to David. Upper <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thompson. Yeah. Oh, Upper Thompson. Upper uh, Thompson. Wow. Yeah. You stay in the west and go to Upper Thompson to do your bike. Ah, can uh, for uh, this bike, uh, can not. Kela rider. Bike mah, ayah. Demi cinta ku padamu. <laughs> yeah. So engine oil, everything. How many uh, bottles? Uh, uh, this bike is four bottles of uh, engine oil because it's mm. a inline four engine. I'm surprised. Uh, despite being an inline four, uh, mm. is the engine is quite compact. Mm. Uh, like just over four, you can see it's very bulky. Yeah, even um, the diversion also mm -hmm, very bulky, mm -hmm. but supposedly it's quite it's quite nice lah, nicely. I nice. mean, apart from the fairing, uh, right? That makes it yeah. a bit wider, but I think it's it's pretty slick for mm -hmm. inline four engine, you know. Yeah, I think uh, maybe that's what you get when you pay for European standards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I think off road no issue, ah. Eh? Off road, I think this bike doesn't suit. Off road. Yes, it's mainly okay. meant for roads, long winding roads. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, it's a road adventure bike. Lah. That's why. That's why I think off road is more to a GS. Yes. Mm. yes. yes. This one, if go Thailand, show, show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 so, any problems or issues have you encountered with uh, the bike so far? I mean, one common problem for the S1000XR is the vibrations on the handlebars. Mm -hmm. uh, for that, what I can only do is to maybe add a heavier bar and balancer as well as wearing your riding gloves lah, which is mm. also a good safety tip yeah. so the vibration even even at higher speed does it, the vibration really the, bothers you a lot uh, the vibration only comes in quite strong between 4 4500 rpm and 5000 rpm ah, yeah. okay that's why then I, above will be smoother out the bike yes yeah so the faster you go the smoother it is this bike also pushes the riders uh, experience on the bike, uh, as in, even though you feel like a bit scared to uh, go lower, this bike will actually help you to learn how to go lower. Uh, yeah, mm. that's why I experience. Yeah, mm. I see. So I see. we will say that this bike is much more of a, a advanced rider kind of a yes. bike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you get your class two straight away, don't recommend. <laughs> so if you uh, it's a bit dangerous. If you just pass class two, still under. P plate class yeah. two. P plate class two. <laughs> uh, you may want to consider this yes. later on. Uh. Yeah. After you maybe try a few more bikes. Yeah, maybe uh, try mm. because it's quite. Yeah. Yeah. So Shabir, uh -huh. um, almost come to the end. Uh. Yes. Uh, what so far was the best memory with your S one thousand XR? For me, since I didn't get to go overseas, it was actually a, some cliche lah. But it's the first day that I collected this bike. Uh, it was one of the workshops nearby here in Kaki Bukit when I was in Bartley Road East when I was testing the bike lah, first time. Just test a bit only. But then got one TP sniper. Alamak. Alamak. <laughs> but lucky I didn't go over speed limit. So I was a bit shocked lah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Would you say the S1000XR, what kind of riders would you recommend the bike to? Uh, definitely people who love the torque, who love the speed and also high seating position as well as the wide handlebars. I think these riders who really like this type of styles uh, would suit this bike. Uh. Shamil, thank you yeah. so much you. for sharing your ride with yeah. us and also Shamil, your brother uh, who is over there. Uh, shout out to him also because if it wasn't for him, I think he wouldn't come on the show. <laughs> Shy, eh? uh, a bit lah. Now, now. <laughs> can lah, can, can, can lah. Good lah. Mm -hmm. At least you got this bike on camera. And if you, for example, lah, sell this bike or what lah. At least you got this video to look back upon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any riders want to review the bike us, you can touch us on our social media pages below. Okay, if you have any comments, feedback, suggestion, put them in the comment section below. Like and share this video if you're riding kakis and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you 18 Moto for sponsoring this venue. Guys, do come down and check out what they do have to offer. And don't forget to support us as well as our awesome sponsor, Liquid Moly. Do check out their online store for a whole range of motor care products and use our promo code upon checking out.
And yeah, that's it for the vlog. We will see you in the next one.